What's up, gang? It's your boy, Major. I've been in my bag for a long, long time. I've been going down the road. It's a long, long ride. We're going to be uncovering the dirtiest players in NFL history, bro. NFL is dangerous, bro. It's a collision sport. Please don't play if you're under 15. Or you will have CT. My CT acting up. <laughs> Before, shout out to the Red Zone YouTube channel, bro. Dirtiest Ocho Cinco tripping. <laughs> he tripping. We have future Hall of Famer yes, Steve Smith. Smith. Because Dog. in 2002, with his teammate Anthony Bright, during training camp that season, the two receivers got into a fight, and it ended with Smith breaking Bright's orbital bone. He's him. My boy Smith has always been like, shout out to all the slots. I was a slot. I'm always going to respect the slots out there. Hey, we got we to gotta be big dogs out there sometimes, bro. Shout out to our boy Smith. Y'all know he's a pet bull. The bone is the bony cup that surrounds your eye. Damn, so that doesn't sound fun. That's, that's crazy. It wasn't dirty at all compared that, to number nine. I don't even know what that Richard feels like. Sherman. Richard Sherman, Richard Sherman, my Sherman boy. wasn't just dirty on the field. He's like that. But he was dirty off the field as well. Damn. His toxic choice of language even had reporters afraid to talk to him. Just ask Skip Bayless. Okay, maybe Skip Bayless won't admit it after being roasted by Sherman during a 2013 episode of First Take. Yet, Skip Bayless isn't anywhere near as scared of Sherman as former 49ers receiver Michael Crabtree is. Because during a heated battle between the Seahawks and the 49ers in the 2013 NFC title game, Sherman shut down Crabtree in the game's closing moments. Yes, sir. As if a heartbreaking playoff loss wasn't enough, Sherman wouldn't let Crabtree forget about it. Following the game in an interview, sheesh. Hey, shout out to my boy Red Zone, bro. Hey, this video is edited here. Perfection. Shout out to you, bro. But he got off easy because that wasn't bad at all compared to one player who did something so dirty, he almost made his teammate take his life. But at number eight, Damn. You have safety Roy Williams. That's crazy. Because in the early 2000s, horse collar tackles were legal. In fact, Williams became man. A they were back in the day for me because I'm a 2000. I'm a 2001 baby, so it's just like <sighs> it's crazy how 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 the game changed. But it's for the better, bro. He's some dirty motherfuckers out here. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> As it turns out, Williams utilized this tackling technique so much that he injured not one, but three players during the 2014 NFL season. He's him. And it's like, Uncoincidentally, this was also the last year horse collar tackles. My were boy allowed. Whitson, so, bro. Third time's the charm, right? And speaking of players who took cheap shots, Terrell Suggs at number seven on this list also has his fair share of cheap shots. Because over the years, Suggs developed a strong disliking for the Steelers. As a division rival, Suggs knew the best way to beat the Steelers was without Ben Roethlisberger quarterback. Wow. As being said, T-Sizzle earned a bad reputation by attacking Roethlisberger's knees. Suggs wanted to win at all costs. Man, Roethlisberger does got some bad to knees, too. Roethlisberger's knees. Just chill, man. And Suggs' teammates <laughs> were much better because of Ray Lewis. Unlike the rest of the players in this video, Lewis was involved in a murder case back in 2001. See, I never knew that uh, he was in damn near a crime scene. <laughs> Specifically, hits from the 2010 season, where Lewis had to pay over two separate fines of $25,000. That ain't bad. To make matters worse, <laughs> that ain't Lewis bad. was already 35 at this point. What more do you have to prove still? But the players get dirtier and dirtier because Rodney Harrison always played as if he had a chip on his shoulder. Yes, sir, Steve. And my man was voted as the league's dirtiest player in both 2004 and 2006. Clearly proved his dirtiness time and time again. This includes in 2002, where Harrison was suspended for a head-to-head -head hit on Jerry Rice. What was the one? Not the goal. Absolutely worth it. Oh, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice did that slant, and I got a chance to hit him. <laughs> and I tell you, Dan, I would have spent a half a million bucks on that <laughs> just to get a chance to knock his freaking head off. Ironically, this also marked Harrison's last season with the Chargers. Six years later, when Harrison retired, he had accumulated over $200,000 worth of fun in his career. I mean, that's no small chunk of change if you ask me. Ultimately, Harrison gained his negative reputation because of helmet to helmet hits, something he has in common with former Raiders safety. So he, he definitely got CTE, bro. He definitely got CTE. Him, he definitely got CTE. Pounds, Tatum had to be creative and take advantage of the NFL rulebook during his playing days. But one of his hits in particular propelled him to spot number four. 
because in a Raiders preseason game against the Patriots in 1978, Tatum made one of the hardest hits in NFL history against opposing ah, Daryl Singley. That's crazy, y'all. It was so brutal that it left Singley paralyzed from the chest down. No. Oh my god. See, back in the day, bro, they didn't have that real protection that we had. Those helms are so old. They had no cushion. It's literally so literally if you get hit, bro, your your shit is bobbling everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, bro. But not quite as bad as how he treated his Dolphins teammate Jonathan Martin in 2012 and 2013. Because according to Martin, Incognito continually harassed him and sent Martin some pretty concerning texts to the point where he dealt with anxiety and depression before leaving the team. That's some messed yeah. up stuff. Turns out, Incognito was dirty on and off the field. Yet, it's hard to argue that he was dirty Dominique than the Buccaneers defensive <laughs> lineman and Dominican Sue. If you ask me, Sue is on a different level than the rest of these players so far. Not many can compete with Sue when it comes to on-the-field fights or cheap shots after the play. Because one of these incidents took place in a 2014 playoff game against the Packers when Sue was on the Lions. Because Sue sacked Aaron Rodgers, but decided to take things a step further after the play. With Rodgers on the ground, Sue attempted Stepped to injure Rodgers in the hopes of a playoff victory by stepping on his leg. That's crossing the line. That's crazy. Similarly, it's a big boy. pound Sue stepped on the Texans quarterback Matt Schaub's crotch in 2012. This man is trying to stop people from having kids. Come on, man. <laughs> Someone needs to teach Sue the golden rule. I'm note? dead. Vontez Perfect also needs to learn the golden rule because he is even dirtier than Sue. I'm talking about this person who is only known for one thing, being a jerk on the football field. Perfect's dirtiness isn't debatable either. As Perfect has been fined $4.2 million. What? As hard as that is to believe, it's fuck? more believable if you've watched Perfect on the field yourself. Seemingly, it was this extra year, Perfect. Wait, time out. I think Perfect hit my. If I'm right, bro, that he hit my boy AB, man. AB's my favorite player, bro. We do not care. Headlines for all the wrong reasons. However, his most notable headline won a playoff game in over 25 years. Come on, Perfect. This action, along with many others, makes Perfect one of the dirtiest players in NFL history. So as y'all know, man, AB is one of my favorite players. And I'm only 22, and he never told anybody this, but I try to be like him so much on the field, man. But Perfect definitely knocked like crazy bro hey it's a collision sport like i said uh it's the nfl and people be getting messed up from this sport but uh, i love it so much dearly and i want it to never stop <laughs> and as always stay sober and hey, major he's out of there let's go baby let's go hop inside and out he's gonna the dash dash Shorty know i only care about the cash